one might wonder, what is an Area 2D? Well, let me explain. So Area 2D, we're going to add it as a child here. Um, when we hover here, Area 2D, first of all, we get this error message that says uh, this node has no shape. It can be collided with whatever objects. Um, consider adding a collision shape or collision polygon 2D as a child uh, def to define its shape. So let's add a collision shape. <coughs> collision shape 2D. And same error here. We'll get an error uh, just saying we need to give it a shape. So let's do that. Let's give it a circle. So what an area 2D is, so one thing to keep in mind is when I move the collision shape, I have not moved the actual area 2D. So it doesn't matter too much. The collision shape will still be where the area 2D signals are sent. So area 2D has a bunch of signals, um, monitorable, monitoring, um, priority, gravity, all these amazing things. And you can kind of go through them and see what they do. Um, the main ones that usually matter are going to be collision, layer, and mask. So um, there's also input and transform, obviously, where it, which is going to be um, moving it. So uh, input, we're not going to worry about too much, but collision is the main part that we care about. The reason why Air 2D is really cool is because there are a bunch of signals here. And what these signals can allow us to do is check for anything that enters this area. So this is an area 2D, meaning we can check for anything inside of it. So there's area entered, area exited. So if I'm, um, actually I'll explain that in a second. We have area shape entered, area shape exited. This will, it's very similar to these ones, but it'll specify the shape. Um, we have body entered body exited. Now these two are very cool because let's say I have a player here. This is a body, right? It says character body 2D. And this body um, has a script that allows us to move right and left. This Let's connect this body entered into a script and just say print body entered. And if I save and I play, let me just the screen here there we go so now when i enter the thing as you can see whoa, right there it says body entered and if i go in again and exit and then go in it just says body entered every time so that is how we use area 2d um there's also body shape entered and body shape exited now another thing to keep in mind is for the area entered what this is useful for is let's say my character also has an area 2d object to it that would check for that area 2d and so i can access that area through these signals right so it's very useful another thing i will leave you with is if i were to go into inspector if you go to the documents open documentation this will allow for you to see the documentation that this node has there are a bunch of really cool methods that i use actually um, get overlapping bodies if you want to update the amount of or bodies that are inside that area 2d this is a very good function for that um, i've used this many times it's really useful um, and you can always do this for any other node and that's always how, what i'm going to suggest so always go to a node if you don't know what it does open the documentation on the top right right there and it will show you some methods that are very useful. Area2D has very limited ones. There's like, what, six? There we go. And yeah, it's really useful. So um, I hope you guys uh, now know how an Area2D works. Um, I hope that was helpful. And uh, that's the end of this video. If you guys want to see more of this kind of content where I kind of try to simplify things, um, I'm trying to make more of that. So definitely check in, um, subscribe to the channel and check that out. I have a few videos like that coming out soon and I have a few already released. Um, so do that and like and comment the video. Um, I also have a Twitch that I'm trying to stream on more often. So definitely check that out down below in the links. Um, I also have a Discord. I would love if you guys joined. Um, I'm trying to grow our community and I would love to chat with you guys more. Um, to see how big our community can get so so far we have like what 60 people which isn't very much but you know we're growing so you know that'd be awesome if you guys could join um i also and lastly i have a patreon so definitely check that out if um, you're interested and i will see you guys next time Bye bye